Hi, darling. Hello. Hello. What day is it? Friday. It's Friday. And what does that mean? It's... Da -da -da -da. It's Cocktail, cocktail corner. corner. I know. Very cool. Very naff. Right. Put some lights on that. You put some lights on that, yeah. Okay. It looked kind of good. That's uh, cool. 15 quid from Sainsbury's. That a bargain? Yeah, but the unfortunate thing is we've got no tang it that will no. be seen. We'll have to hammer nails into the... No, that, that's not happening. No. Stick them over there, darling. Because you can't get it in the way of what we're doing today. So, this is our first cocktail for Christmas. Okay. Yeah? So although we're going to put this out the day before officially we start our Christmas list, it is the Christmas list. Okay. Welcome to Big Oggy's Christmas list, everybody. Um, tomorrow we'll be putting out the cake for Stir Up Sunday. Up Sunday. Yeah. Um, but today we are doing the classic British cocktail of Christmas. Not that eggnog stuff. We are doing a snowball. Way, I love a snowball. Um, supposed to be invented around the 1940s, 1950s, very popular, um, certainly through my generation, where my mum used to have parties in the 70s. Okay. And it's kind of been there ever since, really. Yeah. So, dead easy, a snowball, but we're going to do two today. Ooh. I know. We're going to do the classic one, and we're going to do the non classic one. Pimps. We're going to pimp it up, okay? So, we're going to do the classic one first, so we'll move that one to one side a second. Now, see, I say classic, but my mum would have just been two pieces of this, not three. She wouldn't have even known about the other one, but that's fine. Right. So, in our day, it would have been 50 milliliters of Advocar, or, or, as my mum and dad used to say, around Christmas, she'd say to my dad, Ginge, go and get a bottle of Egg Flip. Egg Flip? Egg Flip. I, anyone remember I called it Egg Flip? God, it's gone really thick because it's been yeah, in the fridge. Yeah, it has been in the fridge. That's all right. It'll be fine. So, Advocar is basically eggs and brandy. It comes from Holland. Um, I've actually got a recipe for this. If you want me to make a recipe, show you a recipe to actually make your own Advocar, last for about three days. I might have a go at that. Are you sure this is right because it's like custard? No, it's fine. It's literally what it is. Yep. Pour it in. Lovely. That's fine. I'm going to pour in some ice. Now, normally you would just top that with lemonade in my day or bitter lemon. Bitter lemon is quite good. Okay. It's got to be kind of a lemony lime thing. So we're going to use 7-Up. Our white lemonade is really good. A lot of people say that's a really good one to use because it's very lemony. Right. But before we do that, we're going to add the extra ingredient, which is lime juice. Okay. So, we've got some lime juice somewhere? Yeah, yeah. I believe we have. So, we've got the juice of one lime, basically 25 ml. So, do you, you want to measure it? Oh, not really. It's Wait, a, yeah. it's Why don't you pour it in there and then I might be able to swish that around? You could swish that around a bit. There you go. It's about yeah, 25 ml. Right. Because that really has stuck in there. Yeah, well, it's avocal. I mean, it sticks to your bones. It's lovely. That doesn't really help. <laughs> no, I know. Well, now, nowadays, I suppose everyone kind of goes for. Um, in Bailey's Irish cream and stuff, but in my day when it first came out, this was apricot. Right, so I put the lime juice in that, and then you top it up with lemonade. Probably enough, probably enough, unless you want to make it weak. And that's pretty much it. Got a cherry? Yeah, I got a cherry. Oh, I've got a cherry in it. Do you want it stirred up? Uh, you can stir it up, yes, stir it up. The reason they're called snowballs, by the way, is because of the top. It goes fluffy. It goes fluffy like a snowball. Absolutely. That's what it's for. That's quick cocktail stick anywhere, darling. Um, one second. Oh, I'm not prepared today, so I know. We've been we've been making cakes today, haven't we? We oh, have. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll throw yeah. one in if you want. Just you have to just throw it in. I'm afraid it's like throw I can't put my hands on them at the second. Use fingers, everybody. Got to have one martini cherry and a snowball. Somebody check, check. That's a classic snowball. Okay. There you go. So, looks like a snowball. Looks it tastes like a actually. snowball. Looks very good. You want to try it? Do you just drink it like that or do you yeah. drink it for a yeah. straw or what? It's, well, you just drink it like that. It's just a snowball, love. Oh, it smells custardy. And it tastes custardy. Yeah, it's a bit, it's like vanilla, a bit more, bit more other guy. Bit vanilla, um, vanilla custard with a kick. Ambrosia. Yeah, lovely. Dead simple, nice and easy to make. Yeah. One taste. Oh well, of course we'll make a couple more for the picture because I'm quite happy to drink it. Yeah, absolutely a snowball. Nineteen seventies, back again. Love it. 
And actually, the light, the line really worked. That was crappy. Sorry. Right. Fly top of the boat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the line really kicked in, doesn't it? Mm. Lovely. That makes it a bit better than normal just lemonade. Yeah, that was nice. If you want to use another lemonade, so we've used Seven Up, our whites, Sprite is good because it yeah. it's another uh, lemon, lemon and lime one. So that's a classic one. Let's pimp one up, shall we? Okay. One glass. Okay. One glass. Now, to that, we want 50 mils of the avocado again. I don't think you should keep your avocado in the fridge. Well, I don't know when, it, when you open it, you probably do because it is eggs. Although when we make when we make one, a fresh one, yes, you would keep it in the fridge. Yeah, but I it think does this have is sick egg in it. like pasteurised and yeah, you know. Whatever. We put it in the fridge mainly so it was cold for the drink. Yeah, that's fine. Now it gets it gets weirder now. Twenty milliliters of vanilla syrup. This is going to make an awful mess. Can I just rinse this quickly? No, just pour it. Why don't you just put it in that one? On the top. Why did you just, just pour it in the big one? <laughs> right, 20 mils approximately Lovely. of vanilla syrup. Of vanilla syrup. Different. So what makes this different is we're not using lemonade. No. No, we I'm are using, using Prosecco. Woo! I know. See. So we've got we've got a bottle of um well not particularly fancy prosecco we got it. Uh, no, I don't know where we deal. got it from. Yeah, it's a slightly pink one supposedly, but it will do. Oh, it's an M and S one. It's right? an M and S one. We got it on a meal deal. I yeah. Think. So, um, literally 150 mils of that. It treats it like lemonade, really. About that. Yeah, about that. Give it a whizz up. I would say stick a cherry in it. I think it's terrible. Now, the other, the other thing to pimp this one up, it would be nice if we stuck these on cocktail sticks and they would look pretty, but you know. Sorry, but I wasn't we're just prepared debt, for that. We're debt charging at the moment. <laughs> um, last, lastly, to pimp it up even more, and I have no idea why, but because it's called a snowball, you have to make some snow. A little bit of icing sugar. You're supposed to just dust it on, not just throw it on top. There we go. I'm not throwing it, I'm dusting it. Just dust it for a picture. There we go. Lovely. Okay. That's it. That is a... That is a Snowball fizz, they call that. Ooh. Giving it a stir. Can you I probably go it. it? Right, try, it, try that one then. Oh, that smells completely different. Well, it's got more of a kick. Oh, yeah, it really has. <laughs> yeah, but that's nice too, isn't it? It's not, yeah, I mean, it's drinkable. That, oh, it's very nice. Actually, they're both very nice. So, the choice is, oh, that's nice. Oh, I'll bring back so many moments. It's like alcoholic custard, isn't it? But that's just like alcoholic custard with a <clears throat> colour of every glass of wine next to you. Right, so, classic or the fizz, try either one. Try them both because they're worth it. You can get bottles of avocado anywhere nowadays. It's probably about 10 quid, 12 quid a bottle, something like that. Probably. Always worth it. Yeah, I always get one every Christmas, member. A snowball is for life, not just for Christmas. Oh. I know. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Come and join Kelly and myself along on the uh, Christmas, the big August Christmas list. Mm -hmm. This is the start. And oh boy, we have created quite a lot of videos already. And there's some wacky ones in that lot. Yeah. And some fun ones and some really good recipes. Cool. It's been very good. So follow us on the journey. There'll be there'll be daily videos throughout the well, the, the trip all the way to December 23rd. Absolutely. Bye, everybody. Enjoy this one. Happy cocktailing, everybody. See you soon. Nice. Mm. Mm, like that one.